Hello coders, in this video I am going to demonstrate how we can do machine learning without writing single line of code. Yes, machine learning with just drag and drop with Orange, a Python based tool. Don't you believe? Just wait and watch. Students can do that project into it. Also, they can give seminar on it. Orange is an open source data visualization, machine learning and data mining toolkit written in Python, C and C++. Orange uses common Python open source libraries for scientific computing such as NumPy, SciPy and Scikit-learn. Orange supported on Mac OS, Windows and Linux operating system that you can download from this website. Find link in the description below. If you have already installed the Anaconda distribution, then Orange comes built in with Anaconda tools. You have to just press here the install button. Then it will show you the launch button. When you click on it, it looks like this. It will first show you welcome to orange window. In that you can start new workflow. You can open a workflow. Also you can open and browse the recent workflow. Video tutorials, get started introduction, some examples and documentation. So let me first start new workflow or the new project. Now on the left side you can see different components which is called as a widget. They have provided data, visualization, model, evaluate and unsupervised widget. So total they have provided 5 widgets. You can see over here data for visualize, model, evaluate and unsupervised. Also we can add extra add-ons into it as per our requirement. Now let's get started. So we have to import the data file first in the machine learning to provide the data to machine learning algorithm. So here that you can put these widgets in this workflow which is called as a canvas and these are in the left side components called as a widgets. So that you can put over here in three ways. First either you can click on it or you can just drag and drop as per your required position or just right click on the canvas. Then it will show you the different options. Also, you can search over here like file. Then you can put. Now, just to revise, you can push the widgets in this canvas in three ways. Just click on it. Also, you can perform the drag and drop and right click on this canvas. Then you can search and put the different widgets over here. Just for the right click, also you can remove it. Also, you can rename it as per your requirement. Also, you can create du duplicate and also you can perform the copy as well. Now, let I remove all the widgets. Now, just click on it. It will open this file widgets. If you click on it, you can see from GitHub, you can directly put the link over here and put your data set. Here, different inbuilt data sets are already given in the PSV format, tab separated values. Let me first take iris data set that you can see it contains four features sepal length, sepal width, petal length and petal width and this is the target variable that we have to predict. We can see our data set using data table that you can see over here. Just click on the data table you have to connect this to. Now you can see our data set using this data table widget. We can plot our data using scatter plot. So for that we have to go into visualization or visualize step. Now you can find here just click on it and we can connect this file to the scatter plot. Now you can see it provides very nice visualization that you can visualize your data with different with different plots. Now also you can see the distribution of our data. Now you can see the distribution of our data using this distribution plot. So we can also impute the missing values if they are in our data set. That you can see over here. Either you can right click on it and type impute. Now you can see you can remove the missing values with help of this impute widget that you can either click on don't impute or average or most frequent or as a distinct value that you can click as per your requirement. Now let's we train our first model. So now first we have to click on the file. 
as you can see by default data set is iris also we can change it over here shortly i will show you how to import our own data set into csv format now you can visualize your data with data table that you can see over here the our data set of iris flower now also you can visualize using this plot that you can see over here now let me select logistic regression because it's a classification problem we have a three target values iris citosa you can see over here iris citosa iris versicolor and iris virginica so it's a classification problem so let me select the logistic regression now you can also right click on it and perform test and score that you can see we have to input this data and this model now you can see the result almost the accuracy of 96% if you are using the logistic regression on iris date iris flower classification now also you can select the different algorithms like let me select support vector machine then you can see the score of svm let me take tree that you can see the different score and then after you can finalize your model with the highest accuracy let me take the neural network then you have to connect it over here now you can see the score of the tree svm neural network and logistic regression over here now also you can find the configuration uh, confusion matrix as well also we can check confusion matrix that you can see over here for svm for tree and for neural network also we can visualize this tree by this now you can see we can also visualize our tree with help of this tree viewer so for that we have to give the data to tree then tree to tree viewer so as you can see we can take multiple algorithms and also do the comparison on it on our data set now next our own data set in the csv file format so now let we import our own data in csv file format now let me import our data in comma separated value csv file format here you can see also you can upload data here as a sql format as well so now let me click on csv file import so now here you can see when you click on it it will show you this window from here you can select csv file format from your computer so i have selected this music csv now you can see it contain two features age and gender and target variable as a genre that you can see over here now press okay and click here now let me check our data with the data table widget so now you can click over here see your data also you can check your distribution from visualize column now you can check the age gender and gender from here now if we please remember if we want to upload our own data in csv file format or any other format then first we have to select the columns so now click on the select columns and connect it over here now you can see age let we back to this all this so now here you can you have to select your features in our case it's a age and gender and this gender as our target variable that we have to select now 
from evaluate here you can click on test and score also you can right click and put it over here right like this test score now that we have to give input from this select column now let we select our model as you know it's a classification problem so let me again select logistic regression that you can see over here now here it will show you some scores could not be completed because our data set is very very small so now we have to reduce this number of fold by default it use 10 fold cross validation so now let i make this fold to 2 now you can see over here error is removed if you have a large data set, then here you can write 10 fold or 20 fold cross validation. Now, again, let me take the neural network. As I said, also you can check your confusion matrix from here. Also, from here, you can click and put your confusion matrix widgets. Now, let me check the roc analysis that you can connect it over here it will show you the roc curve now let me select another model new base and you can connect it over here because data is already connected now you can see over here let me take knn and put it over here now you can see k nearest neighbor so this way we can import our csv file now next let me do the prediction from our test data set. Now, let me try to perform prediction on unknown data. Logistic regression is already there, but let to expand prediction, I take the another instance of logistic regression that you can give the input from select columns. Now, right click it and click on the predictions column. Either also you can select from evaluate here now let i give the input to it now here you can see this is our original file music file and here i have created separate test file which contain only age and gender there is a no any target value that will be predicted by this logistic regression so in place of logistic regression you can see, select any model out of it which is the best as per the test and score but for here just for your explanation purpose here i have selected logistic regression but as per your requirement and as per your test and score you can select any model now let i right click and select the csv file now from here when you click on here let i select test file for the test purpose okay then close now let me give it to the predictions now you can see over here our model logistic regression is predicted these values of gender that you can see over here. So this way you can perform the predictions on any unknown data like this. Now let me save the model and reload the model. So we not require this all the steps. Now we are at the final step. Let me save our model and load our model. So these all the steps are not required as per your test and score you can select the model and you can save your model. So now to save your model here in model you have to click on save model. Now please check the flow CSV then select the column then I have applied the logistic regression. Now I am going to save this logistic regression model when you click on it and here you can give your model name and you can see i am saving on my desktop click so model is saved now in the future also you can load the model directly such training is not required you can directly load your pre-trained model over here so when you click on it from this i can directly open the model now let me perform the prediction on it so now for the prediction again i take this csv file that you can see over here that i have separately created here is no any target which is predicted by our model now let i click on it and open and test file okay now 
let me give this to the predictions now you can see these target values are the predicted by our pre-trained model this is just brief overview about the orange if you want that i create the complete playlist from beginning then please write in the comment section below thank you thank you for watching